I worked on Bioshock 1. I got to audio direct the Beatles rock band and then I audio directed Bioshock Infinite. The opportunity to even work with Fulbright is kind of a dream come true. They're very receptive to feedback. It's extremely collaborative. I find everyone's really open to any new idea. And I think that open-mindedness is reflected not just in the types of games they make, but also in the type of culture that they're building. I think their games are really important and I'm just super psyched to help bring their game and story to life. AAA teams often get very large and your role is just completely different. We basically discovered that we liked working on a smaller team much better and we felt much more effective. The agility of being able to say we're just a handful of people and we're responsible for making this thing good so we can just say we're going to try this and we're going to cut that and we're going to go down this direction is a huge difference. It's very rare to both be at a big AAA studio and not be part of a huge publicly traded organization that has so many dependencies. We have a really good representation of people who have AAA big game development background. Noel, our animator, who worked at Microsoft, but on a core art team that just contributed to a lot of different projects. So this is like her first full project start to finish. Because we're such a small team, I've been able to do a lot of different things, like work on shaders and stuff I've never done before. So I'm learning a lot every day. Being able to turn around and talk to the programmer or the game designer or whatever is really nice. And we're working with Nina Freeman, who's coming straight out of academia and has only made really small indie games on her own. And now this is her first game of this scale that she's working on. Being able to work with such a tight knit team is really great for me. And I like sort of that back and forth of, I come up with an idea, I'm like, hey Steve, he's right there. I can just be like, what do you think of this idea? Which I think is really important. I love the smaller team size, personally. I also just love that a larger percentage of the game is because of you, and you get to touch more disciplines and you get to learn more disciplines. In some ways, we're giving people more of a voice. On a team this small, everybody has a lot more individual responsibility. We have one programmer, we have one animator. As far as identity goes, that means that all the environment art that comes into the game is coming from one person's sensibilities, and it gives it a unified, specific feel that doesn't get watered down through the process. I got my start at the beginning working at Valve. I was working on mods for Half-Life and ended up working on Counter-Strike. It's very easy to communicate so everyone knows what we're working on, what we're trying to build, how we're going to do it, and if there are any questions that come up, it's, it's very easy to turn around and say, hey, how's this going to work? A lot of things are, are more simple here. The downside, of course, being that without as many resources, you can't necessarily do as much stuff, but the creative process is much more fulfilling on a small team, I think. It's the first game studio I've worked with that's local to where I live, which I think is a really nice benefit because beyond actually coming in and just, you know, to the studio and doing the lines, it actually gives us a chance to, you know, we socialize, like they're good friends of mine, we can go out to dinner and talk about things. It's sort of like a collaborative, friendly family atmosphere to all of it. It changes the identity of what you make by having more different kinds of people contributing to it. A lot of what happens at an indie game studio is there's gonna be different things that people are excited about, you know? And so if we're trying to make something that is is unique and stands out and isn't like everything else that's out there. And, and as a small studio that doesn't have an enormous budget or tons of people, if the uniqueness of what we make is part of the core value of caring about what we do, then having a team that is going to make something that is outside of the norm, I think, is really, really valuable.